There's a surprise at the end of the video that I cannot wait to show you. This has to be the most idyllic place I've ever been. Hey, travel lovers, I'm Jessica, and I'm taking you on a day trip to Almira from Amsterdam because that city is crazy crowded with pride today. So we escaped only 20 minutes by train to Almira, which is the youngest city in the Netherlands, only one year older than me. Feel free to leave your guesses in the comments below how old I am. This will be fun. If you've been with us for a while, you might remember we stayed in a lighthouse in Almira Haven. So I'll leave a link to that video down below. But for now, let's go exploring. You can buy your train ticket at the blue and yellow kiosks, or if you have the Amsterdam region ticket, it's included in that. And each way that you go is 6 euro 70, but if you buy the paper ticket, it's a one euro surcharge. You can always download the app and buy it there. Our first stop is we're gonna have breakfast and we're at a place called Finish Your Breakfast, which I love that name. Um, I chose it for a couple reasons. It was recommended to us, but also I loved the menu. I wanna point out that um, the coffee is a very reasonable price here. And if you can't find fresh squeezed orange juice at a place in the Netherlands, find a new place because it is one of the best reasons to have breakfast in this country. But it's also a social enterprise. So they work with students to help them. 100% of their profits go like back into their social program which is another reason I love this. So let's dig in and see if it's any good. It's pretty good hollandaise sauce. Um, I'm really curious about the fries though. Mm. Ooh. So basically the fries are roasted potatoes. So there's, I think there's rosemary and stuff on it. That is amazing. With the eggs and the hollandaise and the salmon and everything. And you can also get bacon and avocado on top of it. But I really, really, really just want to try the chicken and waffles. I think this is too big of a bite. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That was way too big of a bite, but that was so good. The chicken is crispy and seasoned very nicely. And then the sweetness of the waffle plus the syrup it is excellent. I have to just say, like, everything is priced very well for what you get here. This was a good find, and I would definitely recommend it for anybody coming to Amira. And I'm going to leave all of this in a blog post that I'm going to link down below, like, everything we get up to today. Because Amira is such a new city, they kind of just had fun with the architecture. The building behind me is called The Wave. I see it as an explosion. I'm really curious how you see it. Um, but there's all kinds of different kinds of architecture here. And you'll have boxy shapes and, and round shapes and organic shapes and colorful buildings. And then you'll have like regular homes. But also the city has a decent food scene, beaches, harbors, shopping. I love the shopping here. And there's a surprise at the end of the video that I cannot wait to show you because I would have never thought to have found it here on Flevoland, that is the province that we're in, or even in the city of Almira. So there's just so much here. I think you're gonna be shocked. wandering around this center city a bit we have come down to one of the beaches which I'll show you in a bit but there are so many beaches in the city it's a great place even for Amsterdamers to come to go to the beach but we are having a lighter lunch after a heavier breakfast so we are at Zouder and that is based off of the Dutch word Zoud and it's from the Zouder Zee so the southern sea because that is what this used to be this is all new land which is why it was created in 1984 in case you didn't get that but if you're not coming down to this beach if you're in the center city I also recommend Strand 22 uh, for lunch it's also very good and right by the water but we're gonna dive into this acai bowl after chicken and waffles for breakfast could use something healthy. This is perfect for a hot day. But I've been here before and I would highly recommend if you were here for dinner, the burrata is amazing, the tuna and the steak. Absolutely phenomenal. And they also have vegetarian and vegan food if you need that. But we are gonna enjoy this cold treat before we head to the beach. And I cannot wait to show you. here in the water at Almirder 
Strand, which is basically the Almeida Beach. It's the largest one in the city, but there are 42 kilometers of beaches in the city, which is just crazy. But this one has festivals in it, but no matter where you are, there's tons of different ways to get in the water, whether it's just coming to the beach and just dipping your toes in or taking a whisper boat, which is what I did the last time I was here. That was so much fun, but you can also do sup, wakeboarding, water skiing. I mean, there's so many different ways. And I think that being on the water is one of the main things that you have to do when you are here in Almeida. Before I show you the surprise, uh, there are some other things that you can do in and around Almeida. There are nature preserves, so if you like to be around nature, there's plenty of that to be had. And if you wanna rent a bike and explore, obviously that's a good idea. It's the Netherlands, it's always a good idea. But we are here, I can't even believe this is a real place that life contains beautiful things. Now, what is that? It is a vineyard, but it's not just a vineyard. There's also places you can stay. There are these little tiny house cabin things. And we are staying in one that is named after the great variety right next to us, Yoaniter. I think that's how you say it. So you wanna see it? Come on, come on. In this tiny house, we have basically three sections. This is the living area. So we have this great table right here with two very cushy chairs and a TV and coffee station, all, all the goodies over there, everything that you really need. And then right over here, we have your glasses, your kettle, your little microwave, little refrigerator, and everything that you need to heat up food or to keep it so that you can eat it in the morning. As we go through here, you're gonna have a nice huge bathroom. It's it's like a quarter of the size of the whole space. You have the shower, which is a very nice size shower for a tiny home, but it's like a massive bathroom. You can get changed in there. It's just very not Amsterdam is what that is. Then on the other side of the place, we have the bed. And the owner told us this is probably the best one because we get vineyards right outside of our window. Absolutely love it. But I don't know, like this place I'm obsessed with and I haven't even shown you everything on the outside. Guests have access to a grill, picnic table, fire pit, lounge spots, a natural pool and poolside chill spot. And there's even a sauna for those serious about wellness. First of all, this place is paradise. I have to come back here and I think this is like the definition of affordable luxury. And if you think of how much it costs for here versus how much a room is in Amsterdam, you will be running here. <laughs> but let's just talk about the wine for a second. So he let us try literally the last bottle of the 2019 and the 2020 wine. They make a rosé. It's a combination of three different wines. And we tried the first one, which was very light. It's a very, very young wine. They didn't start too long ago and it takes a while for a grapevine to mature and make good grapes for wine. So the 2019 was actually really surprising. I don't love rosé, but the 2020, it looks like a white wine, but it has a bit of a pink tinge to it. And this stuff is amazing. So like I said, it was the last bottle, unfortunately. But I think this is just a note to you to mark this place on your map. And the next time you are coming to Amsterdam, you must stay here and try the wine. So even if it is in two years or three years, this is worth a stop. I've switched to my phone because honestly, we were just too relaxed to get the camera. <laughs> but I pulled out the picnic blanket and we are gonna have sushi among the vineyards this has to be the most idyllic place I've ever been I'm already trying to plan my friends to join so then we'll just rent out the three places enjoy the pool enjoy the barbecue that's my plan from shopping to beaches, to being on the water, to nature, to vineyards, Almira is definitely a hidden gem. And I wanna know down below if it's now on your must visit list when you come here to Amsterdam. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.